Hi, thank you for joining us. My name is Matt Miller. I'm a wealth counselor at Versant Capital Management. Versant is an independent wealth management and investment firm located here in Phoenix, Arizona. And today we're fortunate to have with us Brandon Yee. Brandon's a senior research analyst on our investment team here. And today he's going to talk about real estate, specifically uh, the housing market. So uh, being an advisor here in Phoenix, real estate's obviously a pretty uh, common thing to be uh, talking to clients about. Tell us a little bit about what's happened in the real estate market over the last year, Brandon. Well, thank you for the introduction, Matt, and thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, so the last time we spoke about the housing market was in mid-2021, and the market back then was expensive. Uh, so the returns we were seeing then, if you analyze, annualize them, they were about 15 to 16 percent. Fast forward today, um, we, we can see the returns in the entirety of 2021, and it turned out to be 15% to 16%. So the housing market was really strong uh, last year. And to put that return into perspective, if you go back 30 years, the average home price appreciation annualized was 4%. Wow. So last year's return was multiples of the long-term average. Right. And we've seen that uh, the strong housing market for a few reasons. The primary reason is actually uh, the supply side. So if you're trying to buy a home, uh, there aren't a lot of homes on for sale right now. So the inventory is at, I think, 30 year lows right now. Wow. And that equates to only a two months uh, supply of homes. Um, we're actually getting to the point where new home prices, um, relative to existing home prices, the difference is very small. Right. So that, that kind of gives us an indication of how, how strong the market is. Wow. And then if we look at the demand side, uh, household formation has picked up. So when people get married, uh, they move in with their partners, the next logical step is to find a place to live. Uh, so that has picked up last year, and then also, mortgage rates. So the 30 year mortgage rate is at about 4% right now, uh, which is 1% higher than the last year, or the last time we spoke. Mm -hmm. But relative to history, it's still the rate is still relatively low. Right. Um, so combining all those factors together, we we're seeing strong home price appreciation. So it's, it's really easy to get a house. And there's not a lot of them. Um, we've seen a lot of appreciation here in Phoenix. Uh, the logical question we're going to get asked, right, is are we in a bubble? Mm -hmm. um, from a fundamental standpoint, address that for us, will you? Yeah, so that question we get a lot from clients, and I know it's a common question amongst my <laughs> friends and family. If we go back to uh, the financial crisis, or right before then, uh, the housing market was expensive. And if we look at today's market, uh, we're expensive. But these two markets are fundamentally different. Uh, they're expensive for two different reasons. Okay. Back then, um, houses were, were high, home prices were high because of speculation. And lending standards were really easy. Um, basically, there weren't any lending standards. If you wanted a house, you could get whatever <laughs> you wanted. Today, um, the housing market is, is expensive for fundamental reasons. So I talked about the supply and demand picture. And unless a, a wave of homes uh, comes on the market, we're not going to see prices collapse like they did back uh, during the financial crisis. Um, okay. However, I think home price appreciation, we're not going to see the 15% to 16% like we did last year. Mm -hmm. The appreciation will definitely slow down this year and probably in the next next few years. Interesting, interesting. Well, talk a little bit about uh, staying here locally again. Um, this idea of should I rent or should I buy? Um, there's not a lot of good options, it seems, in the marketplace right now for uh, new homeowners. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, in the Phoenix uh, Scottsdale Mesa market, last year was an especially strong year. Um, home prices here went up about 30%, double the national average. So it was more affordable then 
um, last year, even though prices were still expensive. Still expensive. In, in my opinion. But if we factor in median like household income for residents of, of Phoenix, the picture looks less bleak for people who want to buy. So there's this index called the Housing Opportunity Index. It looks at the median sales prices uh, relative to a measure of income. Okay. Uh, so the index is goes from one to 100, and the higher the number, the easier it is for a household to buy a home. Back in 2012, after the financial crisis, that number here was 90. Mm. Um, last year, it reached 60 or so, wow. and now we're around 45 to 50. But that still means that enough households here are able to buy. But if you don't find yourself in a, in a good situation to buy, uh, the next um, logical place to go would be the, the rental market. But it's hard there because <laughs> rental prices have gone up a lot as well. Inventory issues there as well, right? Just not enough. Inventory places. issues. Yeah, inventory issues there as well. On the bright side, if if you are in a decent living situation now, I think people will get some relief going forward um, because of, like a lot of cycles, uh, the housing market goes as a cycle. Sure. Uh, in the next couple of years, there's been a lot of construction uh, going on, especially multifamily units. So home, home builders are very confident right now mm -hmm. because they see the home prices go up. And if you look at uh, single unit, uh, multifamily unit, and like building permits, uh, they've all gone up mid-teens uh, since last year. Okay. So they're definitely building and supply It will eventually make its way. It's trying to catch up. All right, right. but right now it, it's kind of rough. Interesting. So whoever is out there listening, you may have to get creative. Um, either may have to find a rental home and, and split rent either with family or friends to drive down your rental expense and try to save up money uh, for a down payment. And hopefully when you are prepared to buy, um, you can, maybe the market is not as uh, expensive sure. or extreme. Maybe you can find something, a home that you actually love. Right. All right, well, that was fantastic. Thanks for addressing all those, those issues today, Brandon. As a reminder uh, to everyone at home, uh, you can go to versantcm.com for uh, a breadth of information, but we do videos like this often. And uh, so Brandon, thanks for joining us and uh, we wish everyone at home uh, a great day. Thanks so much.